Okay guys, today we're back. So it is similar. So now we're gonna be taking a look at the 180 spectrum of what we just talked about. Now I do fully encourage you guys really take the time, hone down your disciplines such as fire lighting, like fire building, shelter building, and knife skills, axe skills, and saw skills. Because these are the most, the top five, and you can throw in portage as well, portage, portage making as well as another really important skill for bushcrafters. But the top five are definitely shelter, fire, and then your knife, your axe, and your saw. But once you have honed down those skills, what are some of the best tools? Now this isn't a comprehensive list of the more you know, the less you carry, but the best building ground from what I've found through my experience are these five pieces of kit. So the first three to kind of get them out of the way, because you just spent all this time learning about the knife, the saw, and the axe, and how to properly use them. Those are the first three tools really to carry. So of course, you want a solid bushcrafting blade, something that will light fires, so you'll strike a barrel on. You want something that you can rely and put your life on, especially because this will likely be your only tool that you have out, or your only knife, I should say, that you have out. So that's number one. So number two, you know, having a good saw, it doesn't have to be particularly large. One thing that I've learned over my experience with bushcraft is that sometimes it's not always about having the largest tool or the most high quality tool or the most expensive tool. It's a lot of it comes down to being tactful with what you have. So learning how to properly use the tools that you actually have on you instead of you know always wishing and waiting and wanting the next best thing. There are certainly more expensive saws in this little Baco. There are larger saws and there may even be arguably better saws than this little guy. But sometimes it's not about having those better tools. It's just about being tactful with what you actually have. So this is a Baco Laplander, but just about any saw that's compact and will fit in a pack or will fit on a pack frame that you can build or that you can just carry in your pocket like this will do pretty well. So next to that, and I'm not going to take it out of this uh, blanket because I have it all nice and pretty in here, but uh, the next tool is going to be the axe. And this is the actual portion that I'm talking about. No, so we'll get to this in just a moment. But, you know, having a good axe, having a... Once again, it doesn't have to be terribly expensive, it doesn't have to be terribly large or heavy in the head, but being tactful with what you have, I still highly encourage the Grand Forest Brooks Scandinavian Forest Axe, and it's not because it's expensive or high quality, it just has the proper weight in the head and the overall weight, and it's also a really great size to make it easy to pack in, easy to strap it to pack frames that you can build and overall a really solid axe that will not let you down. So those are the top three tools. Like I said, those are kind of obvious because those are what you just spent your time learning how to use properly, hopefully, we hope. And so it's pretty important to have those. But the next two are things that, while maybe not mission critical, the five tools in this, these aren't technical tools anymore, but they are really important pieces of kit to carry. So the next one you see is rolled up around my axe is a wool blanket. This is a 100% army wool blanket. These are some of the best blankets you can possibly get. They are very hard to come by and it took me years to get this one, but I would highly encourage looking out for these. They're very thin, they're very lightweight, as lightweight as wool can be, but being that 100% wool, these really help. And where I like to use these is especially when you're out here, like I said, I'm not bringing a shelter in with me. So having something that helps keep me warm at night not only increases my morale in the morning, but it also keeps you from burning through unnecessary calories. That's a really important thing. That's a really important thing because your calories are critical out here. Every one that you're burning, trying to keep yourself warm, makes your time out here not only less pleasant, but harder more challenging because you have to find some way to regain those calories. So I like having a good wool blanket and once again having a good wool blanket out here is nice because you know if it gets damp, if it gets wet, if it gets rained on, it's still going to keep you warm and that's what's most important. And not to mention, as you guys can see, if you're tactful with a little bit of paracord and an axe handle, you can wrap this thing around your axe 
and it honestly doesn't add that much bulk to your kit. I mean, it does add a little bit, obviously, but if you look at the comparison here, it's not half bad. And once again, this whole system right here, if you're into or what you want to do is build a pack frame and pack out with just a pack frame, this will easily adapt to that. Okay, so lastly, but certainly not least, is a really simple water container. This is pretty self-explanatory because obviously you're gonna be cooking, you're gonna need to drink water, and while certainly, especially up here in Alaska, I can use another method of building birch bark containers and putting boiling, rock, boiling rocks into them and heat it up that way, it is substantially easier to just go with a, you know, titanium or stainless steel pot or something like a pot or a bottle. This is, of course, a Vargo pot, so it's the best of both worlds, a bottle and a pot. But nonetheless, whatever you choose to go with, this is a really good system, and I highly encourage having some kind of container out there. Once again, this isn't a technical tool, but I feel like the wool blanket and this serve such an important role in bushcrafting, especially in a minimalist kit, that they really deserve to be on the five tool. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.